into a hormonal imbalance question. So how much does a hormonal imbalance, and then this particular question, a client with uh, estradiol ratio uh, that is very low, uh, what is the effect for fat loss when it comes to that low ratio? So as far as sex hormones go, there's very little evidence out there that they really affect fat loss that much. Um, no. If they do, it's probably more of an effect on the person not feeling very good and spontaneously moving less. So in terms of, so with that could have a very real effect and people really dismiss that a lot. They're like, when they hear the words physical activity, they think, well, I still go to the gym an hour a day. Like that's not it. Well, I'm not necessarily talking about the gym. I'm just talking about spontaneous physical activity. Uh, a great example of that, like if, even with rats in a cage, um, if you, if you feed them more food, they will become spontaneously more active um, as they're wasting energy. Uh, so if you aren't feeling as good, you may do less spontaneous activity. And again, spontaneous activity does not mean exercise. It means just pacing and fidgeting and some other things. Like right now, my, my leg is tapping and I'm not, until I looked at it just now and saw it was tapping, I didn't realize it was doing that. You know, So those are some of those things um, that if you're, if you're not feeling good, your body tends to do less of. So, um, as far as like basal metabolic rate doesn't appear to, doesn't appear to affect it. Um, and as far as the studies on fat loss, I haven't really seen much, uh, in terms of sex hormone differences, unless it's testosterone, but that's more of in terms of retention of lean body mass, fat loss still tends to be similar, but that people just lose more lean body mass if they have low testosterone.